On October the 3rd, um, VMEX published a submission regarding anti-vilification reforms. Our submission is in response to the Victorian Department of Justice and Community Safety's consultation paper entitled Protecting More Victorians from Vilification, Implementing the Anti-Vilification Inquiry. We did this in light of the vilification of people in the media and public life due to their mental health status. In this submission, VMAC requested a standalone mental health attribute. We also requested attributes which cover people with disabilities, lesbian, gay, bisexual people, trans and gender diverse people, women, intersex people, and people with a positive HIV, AIDS, or hepatitis C status um, to be pursued. So when we say an attribute there, um, we're saying we want that um, aspect of um, a person's experience or life um, to be actually be able to be counted as something which can, um, under this act, um, have recourse if someone feels that they're vilified um, for that for that reason or that aspect of their identity or experience. We also urge um, funding to be reinstated, reinstated by the Victorian Equal Opportunity and Human Rights Commission to give effect to um, these protections. Um, I guess it's one thing, but have things um, in legislative, legislation and charters and things like that. Um, it's another to make sure they're actually um, implemented. Um, and in this case, that people um, are protected properly. So you can read our submission for yourselves on the policy page of our website and also via our social media channels.